Today, we have another business solution for a review in our office. It comes to compete for the attention of enterprise users who need extra security, reliability, and decent performance. Although the device may seem pretty standard on the outside, there is much more, and we can't wait to tell you more about it. First, let's take a look at the externals. Although the laptop covers the A10H military-grade durability standard, it's pretty light for a 15-incher, just 1.73 kilos. Moreover, its footprint is really small, due to the fantastic 90% screen-to-body ratio. Then comes the ErgoLift mechanism. Here it is quite aggressive, as the laptop achieves a big angle when it's opened. This provides more airflow for a quieter and more efficient cooling solution. And if you push the display further, you can get a full 180 degree spread. It is worth noting that you get a privacy shutter on the camera and a fingerprint reader embedded onto the power button, which is neat in terms of security. However, the port selection is where things become really interesting. You get a total of four USB ports, one Thunderbolt 4 and three USB Type A's. Then there is an HDMI 1.4B connector, as well as a VGA port for legacy displays and projectors. And if you thought that's all, you will be surprised to see a micro SD card reader and a LAN port. In terms of memory, you get either 8 or 16 gigabytes soldered to the motherboard. Additionally, there is one SODIMM slot for further expansion. As for the storage, there is an M.2 PCIe X4 slot, as well as a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay. Another important aspect of a business laptop is its display. It's good to see that it uses an IPS panel, which offers comfortable viewing angles and a pretty good contrast ratio. You shouldn't expect feats of courage when it comes to the color representation, but what is more significant here is the fact that the backlight doesn't use PWM for brightness adjustment. This makes it safe for long periods of work. ExpertBook B1 has a rather small 42 watt hour battery, but it still managed to get us a decent on-screen time of nearly 7 hours of web browsing or about 5 hours of video playback. Here, the processor options are quite populous, starting from the Celeron 6305 and going all the way up to the Core i7-1165G7. You can even get the laptop with a dedicated GeForce MX330, but we doubt you're going to need it, since the integrated graphics are pretty good. Once again, the ExpertBook series has been treated to a good cooling solution and the option to put it all to work in the software. If you choose the performance preset from the MyASUS app, you will be able to push the Core i7-1165G7 comfortably above 3 GHz. This is possible thanks to the dual heat pipe cooling solution and the ErgoLift hinge mechanism. As said in the beginning, there is more than what meets the eye here. Will it be a software feature like the noise cancellation, or a hardware one like the great cooling setup? The ExpertBook B1 is a real contender for a place in your office. It has one of the widest port selections for its class, while the 90% screen-to-body ratio only adds to its modern, edgy look. If you want to learn more about this notebook, you can check out our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. The link is in the video description below.